was okay. I felt like it was something that I've seen before of her. It was nothing different. Black Panthers weren't built on love or peace. They were built around hate. The whole Black Lives Matter, I get it, but I don't think it should just, just be focused on the whole Black lives. Getting at the heart of Black Lives Matter. Beyonce being unapologetic about her identity and her roots. I believe the Black Panthers should be honored. It was very um, politically charged. It was empowering for Black women. Every race has the right to also say what they feel and what they're entitled to. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Specifically about going to, you know, diverse campuses and targeting them with this kind of, you know, hateful rhetoric. Social justice actually introduces more language yeah. and more speech and more terms and includes more people. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Fear for, like, students that are for diversity, um, fear for students that are um, politically active on campus. I have no judgment over Disney princesses. I love Disney. So it's not like Snow White, Cinderella, um, The Sleeping Beauty, it's not like, oh, like, save me or whatever. It's not like that, you know? And I felt like over the years they've progressed. There's also an imbalance, racial inequality between how many uh, light skin and white Disney princesses there are versus uh, Disney princesses of color. Uh, unattainable uh, beauty standards for women, mm -hmm. and that could be damaging for a lot of uh, uh, girls of color. I mean, obviously it's the woman's fault. Maybe the husband could be abusive and not treating her right. No, I think she's at fault. I think that people make their own choices. She chose to go across the lake. The madman. Okay. Uh, I mean, why would you blame a woman trying to get home? <laughs> the killer. <laughs> I don't like the guy who what? killed her because he killed her. The minute you say it to somebody, why are you calling me that for, you know, that's racist, all this stuff. Five minutes later, you could hear them walking down the street or maybe in their car, and they're like, oh, like, yeah, you're my It just upsets me that people get offended by it when they use it so commonly. Hip-hop culture uses this word, and it's very frequent, but it doesn't give non-black people of color, and especially white folks, the excuse to use that word. You know, you're reclaiming the word that's mm -hmm. your, I guess, your right to reclaim it. Kind of like how queer community reclaim queer. The minute you disrespect the flag and everything that our troops stand for in this country, then you're terror. You're a terrorist to me. When I hear the word terrorist, my mind jumps to the Oregon militia, the governor, Rick Snyder, that destroyed Flint. Flint, Michigan, they poisoned the water. It was a movement with a good meaning behind it, and it had a message, and then Rihanna hijacked it. They don't incorporate like trans people or gender non-conforming people. Overly sexualizing and overly fetishizing, fetishizing women for the benefit of men. 